So this post over here is set in foam, and this post over here is set in concrete. We're gonna stress test both these posts and see which one fails first. We're gonna use concrete pier blocks. Each pier block weighs 57 pounds. We're just gonna see how much stress the concrete and the foam can handle. I hope I brought enough pier blocks for that foam. I guess if not, we'll just run the truck into it. And another thing to take into consideration here, both of these holes, everything's same, same. Same hole depth, same size diameter hole. The post is in the center of each hole because we want this to be a fair test all the way around. So I think the foam's gonna fail first, but I don't think it's gonna fail as we go vertical here. I think it's gonna fail as we get further out. I'm thinking that we do three high. Once we get our three, we start going out. We need some drama here. So right now we have a lot of force, more so like right here. So we're still putting a lot of strain on the foam itself. It's gonna be on the backside, on the, on the bottom of the hole, and then it's gonna be a lot right here. 228 pounds of weight on each gate, still holding strong. I mean, hmm. that's crazy. I hope we got enough blocks. Our central force is probably more so about like right here, which is putting a lot of pressure against that outside edge. So this is 342 pounds. Ooh, now we're getting, okay, no cheating. I'm not gonna shake anything just yet. We don't have to go that far. But here pretty quick, we're gonna run out of weights. Okay, that's 399 pounds. I really didn't expect this. I knew we weren't gonna have an immediate failure, but I really did think that we were gonna have a failure within the first six at least. I told you guys, that's some good foam, that's... We do have a sag there, just a little bit. So the foam is leaning, because both of these gates, they're level straight across, so I think that we do have some settling and some stress going on on the foam side versus the concrete side. I don't see anything pulling away, no. Uh, one thing, this foam is really, it's hard. It's not like the Sika, it's not like the Fast 2K where we could get some give. This post lock foam is a lot more dense, but it's, I can't get it to snap. I can't get it to make any noise whatsoever. It's pretty impressive. So we're gonna have to start transferring weights from the concrete side to the foam side. We'll see at what point in time we have a failure and then we can do the same on the concrete side. Okay, so as I shake it, you can see that there's there's some weight there. It's not failing, but you can kind of see everything move. And to be fair, over here on this side, I can shake this, then we don't have a lot of movement there. Yeah. And you can see it right there. There's some definite sag now. It almost kind of looks like it's the gate frame, it's just out of square now. It's just putting so much stress on it. There's some of the posts there too. What are we, we're probably about five eighths of an inch every two feet. So it's not cracking and shifting here, but what's happening is the whole thing is moving that way. And you can see that from where it's pulled away from the wall of the hole, as far as the discoloration from what's been exposed to the sun and what hasn't been exposed to the sun. It's not like an extreme failure yet. I mean, we do have some movement. That's what I'm saying. Is it failing? It's on its way out. And that could be the wall of the hole giving away just a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. I really never thought that we'd get this many blocks on there. Uh, so now we're sagging the whole pipe diameter. I think originally we had an, an inch in between each gate leaf. We've sagged past that inch and then now we're past the actual diameter of the post or the gate frame yeah it's really pulling away now but i mean it's not really doing what i thought it would do i actually thought maybe the foam would like crack and the post is split out you got to think all that weight at the bottom of the post that foam at the bottom of the post isn't breaking and compromising and let that 
post fall and fail. And that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen, but it's not, it's so strong. It's just bonded really well to itself. It's definitely sagging. So at that point there is a failure, 100%. I guess I was just hoping for a little bit more of a dramatic failure. All right, now you got some stuff happening back here. Now you can just see it's just opening up back here against the wall of the hole. Still hard, still tied around the post. I think it's just shoving against the opposing wall and I think the foam is being compromised, smashing into itself. Try to open it. I think it actually did separate at the bottom of the post just a little bit, just because, I mean, it's foam. Uh, we expected this to fail a long time ago. I never thought I was gonna get 855 pounds of brick on this foam. I mean, don't get me wrong, we did fail a while ago. We noticed that, we pointed it out, but I mean, the foam isn't 100% compromising within itself. It's not just shelling out the post, but we still have to test all this on the concrete side. Let's go. One thing about the concrete, we wet set it, we stabbed it, we did not dry pack it and pack around it. I don't know that we have much sagging going on. We've got some stress on the post. Yeah, we probably got about a quarter inch every two feet. And I'm gonna say that that's just weight on the post versus weight on the concrete. I don't really think that the concrete's gonna fail. That's why concrete is concrete. Hold on, hold on. What do we have back here? So obviously we have some flex and we have a little bit of give in the post. But along the backside here, we also have just a little bit of movement from the weight like we saw on the foam, not nearly the gap that we saw on the foam, but there is a little bit. I mean, you gotta remember that there's 800, what do we say, 855 pounds? There's 855 pounds just hanging on this one post all by itself. Some of that weight is four feet away from the actual post itself. So there's a lot of weight hanging out there. Obviously the foam failed a long time ago. I would say that we could probably put about half as much weight, 450 pounds is probably what you could probably put on the foam versus the concrete. Where it failed and where it broke was way beyond what the application is for fencing. If you're wanting to build fencing with foam, absolutely, you still can. I would 100% choose this foam right here. If you wanna to stick to the old method of concrete, that works too. The way that the ground is right now, as far as transitioning from winter to spring, we still do have a little bit of moisture in the ground. I'm gonna say with all that weight, I think that the concrete ball shoved into this side and that's where we got our little bit of slack at. I highly doubt that that concrete ball is broken. Highly doubt it. I think it just goes to show that yes, you can use post foam in the right application. Look how light that is. It's Dan with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence and Gate Company. And we hope you have a good dang day.